once again, thanks for tuning in. Holly Shields here for Calcone Media. Small investors generally get anxious during bullish conditions since it's difficult to predict consistently when trends in the market might change. Psychological effects and speculation can also play a large role in the markets. So that said, here are five things investors can do during a bull market rally. But before we get into it, please give our channel a sub and hit that bell icon to stay ahead of the game. First up is the buy and hold strategy. Investors take advantage of bull markets by buying early at a lower price and selling later when prices have hit the peak. The other common strategy is to buy and hold securities to potentially sell them at higher prices later on. However, investors need to have certain amounts of confidence while executing the strategy since it's difficult to assess the state of the market going forward. Next is to aim for a quality portfolio. It's generally seen that many fundamentally lesser sound companies also rally at the start of the bull rally, along with the other good companies. So investors should be vigilant of the fact that the markets become more selective in rewarding only certain companies with higher valuations as they mature. Thus, you must aim for the quality stocks for your portfolio. Another thing, keep booking profits. There's a famous rule in the stock market. If something is too good to be true, well, it probably is. Thus, booking profits during the bullish market are consistent with long-term investment strategies. You must book profits at a regular interval. Next is full swing trading the most aggressive way to make the most out of the bull market. Investors employing the strategy play very active roles using short selling and other techniques to squeeze out the maximum gains as market trends can change quickly. And lastly, hedge your risk with options. The best thing you can do to hedge your risks in the bullish market is by purchasing put options. However, you need to spend a little time understanding the basics of options since they can be complicated in the beginning. Plus, options provide a low cost protection against losses and investors are required to give away a small portion of their profits to ensure their investment portfolio. Now that you're up to speed, check out some of our other videos to boost your financial IQ. And if you like this info, please give us a like, share and a comment. For regular updates, head to our website at calcoinmedia.com. This has been Holly Shields for Calcoin Media.